Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to test out this car that everyone seems to want to be added into the game. And it's finally here. So, I would have made this video sooner, but I was on holiday, so that's why it's been a little bit delayed. But let's just see how many upgrades we can do to this car. Actually, you know what, before we do that, we're going to test this out on the streets to my auto shop. So we can upgrade the colours all the way, like we could get all the colours. Okay, so far, I'm just looking at this car right now, and it performs pretty well. I, I, I kind of like this car, but I wonder how the convertible thing will work. There we go. We got the convertible version of a car now. That is awesome. Let's go. So this is what the convertible look version looks like. This looks pretty neat. I will not lie, but... Oh, but look at the spoiler. That looks so cool. So this is one of those unique spoilers that you could get on this car. Okay. So that's uh, kind of interesting, and it does break pretty good so far, but I think we can improve on that, even though we're not really worried. Let's just uh, replace this car, put it in another one, and we'll see what we can do to this car. Okay, so this is a sports car. That's not too bad. I, th I thought it would be a sports car. Okay, what have we got? We've got armor upgrades. It's not that expensive, like not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so let's start with the front bumpers. You know, this kind of reminds me of a comet a bit, but it has a completely different name. Anyway, let's take a look what this looks like. Okay, not too many good upgrades, but I think we're going to go with this one. I think this is my favorite one out of the bunch. Okay, what do we got for back spoilers? Oh, oh, half spoiler. Oh my god, full rear delete. Oh my god, you can actually remove so much on this car. Oh, man, that's so cool. We could remove so much on the car and change a lot on it. I think we're going to go with this one, though, right here or here. I don't know. I kind of like this one. Let's go with that, and then let's go to engine upgrades. Just upgrade that to the max, of course. We've got to upgrade the max. Okay, we've got, we got uh, exhausts. Here we go. I can't really tell the difference between these two, right? Like, they're really hard to tell the difference, but do we actually have any different ones? Oh, well, here we go. They don't look too much different from each other. The only difference you see here is this, eh? Like the bottom bit? So, what about this bottom bit here? Oh, wait, maybe. Nah, there's literally no difference there. They might have made a mistake with this one. Okay, I kind of like seeing the bottom of it, so I think we're going to go with it. Okay, let's see what the fenders have to offer. I don't usually like doing the fenders, but we could take a look at it at least. Okay, you know what? I kind of like the carbon front fenders. They actually look kind of nice on the car. I think I'm going with that. And uh, we can change the car up as much as we want. Okay, we've got secondary hood, carbon hood. I feel like we should do carbon or something. You know, because most of the car is already carbon, so we might as well do some more carbon, right? Vented hood, uh, secondary vented hood, vented hood, carbon vented hood, okay. I don't really like those carbon vented hoods. I, I, I won't lie. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I like that one. I think we'll go with that one. So we're going to make most of this carbon, I think, which is a really nice color, by the way. Okay, lights, we'll get the neon kits, and I think we'll save the color for later, I think. Lavery, what can we do here? Oh, wow. First impressions, these are pretty cool, but I don't know if I want to do a ad on a car. Like, for example, I don't really want this, because this is sort of reminds me of Christmas. That answers my question. <laughs> that answers my question. Okay. Uh, I think I want to go for like some sort of stripe. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, but it doesn't go around the car completely. You know what? I think we're just going to go with this one. Let's go with that one. Uh, we've done that. Um, let's do this one. Respray. Let's see what we can do. Classic. What can we do here? Alright. I kind of was thinking of a purple color for this one. Oh, look how red that is. That looks so red. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I need to find red. Where is red? Oh, dark red. Oh, dark red looks so cool. But I need to find the right type of red. Uh, where is the red? Oh, here we go. Lava red. That's what I was looking for. It kind of looks like it's a combination of both red, like both red and yellow. It'd be interesting to see what they actually would look like. A uh, pearlescent, can we put that on there? Oh, wait, it is actually sort of a pearlescent. So sort of lava red is not really a color at all. So if I wanted to make lava red again, it would probably be that. Okay, so what would green look like on this car? Maybe lime green? You know what, I 
kind of like that, but I want to see what dark green would look like on it. If it has a dark green. Here we go, dark green. Yeah, you can't really see that, can you? Nah, I don't think I'm going to go with that. What can we do for blue, maybe? Uh, nah, nothing really for blue. I think we're going to go lime green. That was the best one so far, but maybe we should go through them all, just to be sure. Alright, all right, um, what about purple? Purple. Like I said before, I want to check out purple. Here we go. Uh, that one looks like the most visible purple you're going to get. Ooh, bright purple. That actually looks kind of cool. I know that looks kind of weird, but honestly, that doesn't look too bad. Ooh, cream, ice white, frost white. Ooh, look how bright that looks. That looks so cool. I know I'm just playing around with the colors for a bit, but, you know, we got to play around with them. Okay, what have we got here for this? I think we're going to just make this simple. So I think we're going to go with maybe dark steel. Yeah, I like the dark steel. Uh, we're not going with the crew emblem because the crew emblem is just a question mark. By the way, guys, that answers that leads me to our next thing. What do you guys think of this car? That's my question to you. What do we got here? All right, what do we got? Um, okay, I think we'll just go with the most expensive one, the race skirts. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Um, okay, I, I won't lie, I kind of like this the most. I think we're going with the GT one. And spoiler, I don't know, I want to leave the spoiler how it is, but what have we got here? Okay, nothing too crazy. I want to leave it, I think. I think we're going to leave the spoiler. Suspension, I guess we'll go with the sports suspension. I've been told to not do the champion one, so let's not do that. Do the race, turbo, and wheels. High, high rider, yeah, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go do this. Okay, what can we do for colors, I think? We'll go to the colors, see what we can do. Maybe we should just go black. Because most of the car is already black. We might as well just make it more black. Tire designs, custom tires. We'll go bulletproof and tire smoke. I want to make it black. And that leads me to my next thing. And that leads me to the next thing. I'm going to go for the limo windows. I like the limo windows. Um, I think we're going to go for lights. And we're going to make the neon color. Uh, I think we're going to make that red. I think that looks all right. Now, I think let's go test this out on the road. Let's see how this performs. Now, one thing I'm interested in is how good are the brakes now that I've put more onto this car. Man, I spent a lot of money in this game, man. I spent so much money. But let's see how we go with this car. Um, so far, this car performs pretty well, pretty good going on a straight line. Okay, so let's see how well this thing performs around going around corners. Now, I know this, that no car actually performs well when you go fast into them. So the best chance of actually getting this complete is by just doing random corners by just, you know, breaking into them. And so far... It's actually pretty good, I will not lie. I feel like this car could definitely be worth buying if you just wanted it. Like if you wanted just a regular car to get around from point A to point B, I'd suggest you could get this car, but it only is a two-door. And why is that really a problem? Well, you don't really want to be, you, you really want to try and grab as much people as you can. So like for example, you can get like a four-door car or you could get a, I don't know, five doors, six door, even eight doors on a car. but the point being, um, this is a two-door car, which could also make me to the point of where you should not suggest buying this car. You could buy a four-door car and still get the rough amount of speed of this one, which is honestly what you really want. Just the speed is what you want to focus on. Would I suggest you buy this car? Probably not, but that's only my opinion. But let me know what you think down in the comments about this car. Uh, but I think it's only safe to say that we should probably test how explosive resistant, even though we all know it's only going to take one missile. But let's check anyway. All right. Let's see. One. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I kind of knew that. So, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. But I think we've got to check out to see how much it costs to repair. So let's see that too. All right. $20,000. That seems pretty normal at this point. Um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.